Hi friends, my name is TTB. Welcome back to MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries Heroes of the Innersphere DLC. We are doing another deep dive today into the Dervish this time. The Dervish is a medium mech uh, on the Innersphere side that uh, was added with the last DLC. And there are three models to choose from, all of which are quite interesting and quite powerful, uh, both long range and short range. So let's dive into them. We're starting with the Dervish 6M, a 55 tonner. All of these mechs are 55 tons, which I like because you're right at the border towards the heavy mech weight class. So you know you can pack quite a bit of a punch in these. Uh, let's have a look at the loadout. As you can see, this thing straight from the factory comes with two LRM-10 stream launchers, one in each side torso. The right arm has an SRM-2 stream, the left arm SRM-2 stream, and both arms have a laser each medium laser short burst. So you got long range capabilities, short range capabilities and lasers to do pinpoint damage. If you look under the hood, there's nothing crazy here. We've got two tons of LRM ammo, two tons of SRM ammo and five total jump jets. The armor of course is a little bit reduced because they want to have a lot of jump jets in the mech. As always at this point guys, the first thing I would do is remove the jump jets, just leave one in there and uh, switch that out probably for an engine heatsink and another heatsink if you want to run this particular build. Now what could you do with this thing? Well, a couple of things. If you go ahead and just strip the mech, I'm going to click max armor here, but please be aware guys that of course this armor is not balanced right now. I would recommend the maximum of 8 back armor, but for the reasons of this video. I just don't want to fiddle with it right now. Now then, okay, we have about, what is that, 16 tons available to us at this point. We've got two small missile slots, two medium energy slots, and two large missile slots. So, if you wanted, if you were very crazy, let's see, could we run LRM-10s with this? Uh, LRM-20s with this? No, that's too much. LRM-15s? Uh, uh, that's, that's also too much. So I think the only LRMs you could run would be LRM 10s. So you could make this into an LRM 10 in medium laser boat and just forgo the small missile slots. Or you could do LRM 10s and maybe LRM 5s. Let's see how that would turn out in terms of weight. Those are the LRM 10s, those are the LRM 5s. As you can see at that point you only have like two tons left for ammo, so that's just not gonna work. So I would recommend if you want to run this with LRMs, just run the LRM 10s, just run uh, two medium lasers and then go ahead and add a lot of ammo and a couple of heat sinks and you should be fine. Or, if you want to brawl with this thing, then I would recommend a combination of SRM-6 in the large slots and then SRM-4s, of course potentially with Artemis if you have it, I'm just not saying it because it's hard to fight in the campaign. Um, so yeah, this would be a pretty pretty nice brawler. Um, do be careful though, it will get hot very, very quickly. So I wouldn't even add energy weapons at this point because you need the tonnage for A, ammo. I would say four tons of ammo should be sufficient. Um, and then add, well, we have two tons left, two heat sinks. One here and then one into the torsos and that should be it. Uh, what you could also do is just run this with two SRM-6 launchers and two medium lasers go for sustained damage and then just have a lot of heat sinks in here. I'm not distributing it right now, I just want to see how, how it would pan out hate-wise. Uh, so yeah, 1.6 cooling per second, uh, heat per second, that is nice. Um, that should sustain you quite a bit. Do be careful, the SRM-6 are very deceptive. You don't think they cause a lot of heat, but they cycle very, very quickly. There's about a 2.2 seconds cooldown on these, so they do a lot of damage. So, a lot of SRMs will get your mech hot very, very quickly, or can get you cooked if you saw that uh, video in me in the Atlas, so be careful about that. So that build, I think, would also work. Two medium lasers and two SRM-6 launchers. Alright, moving on to next mech in the line, the Dervish 7D. Let's have a look at the loadout. Once again, two LRM-10 streams. We've got two Streak SRM-2s, stream launchers. One in each arm, and then, once again, medium laser short burst, one in each arm. If you look under the hood, Nothing crazy here, we've got an extra ton of LRM ammo, other than that everything is the same, the armor is a little bit higher than before, but once again, we get rid of the excess jump jets, we would max the armor on the mech, and then we would have to decide what do we do with this thing. Um, the clue on this one is that you actually have large missile slots up here and medium missile slots down here, so you would think, and that is what we did as well, you would think, hey, this sounds perfect, doesn't it? Let's go, let's go SRM-6, right? Let's go SRM-6. Because these are medium missile slots, SM6 is a medium sized weapon, so you could go for SM6 on this thing. And yes, you could. You could. 
If you just use SRAM 6 and not SRAM 6 of Artemis, you could go with that. Let's say you add 4 tons of ammo, which is not enough. You would need at least, I would say, 6 tons for a full match. So let's say you had added 6 tons of ammo. Then you can add 2 heat sinks, and those should better be double heat sinks. And you would have a very damaging mech that can do a lot of damage very quickly. But be very careful. You're generating, uh, what is it, 3.64 heat, so that's 16 heat per volley, and you're cooling 1.4 per second. Yeah, um, you will shoot a couple of times, sure. You will do an insane amount of damage in a couple of shots, but then you're gonna spend a couple of uh, seconds, well, a lot of seconds cooling down. So, um, I wouldn't run this with SRM6, uh, quad SRM6, I think it would just be too hot. So, once again, maybe, maybe do quad SRM4s and invest the saved tonnage into extra heat sinks just so you can keep that fire going and if you miss it's not a big deal right okay so as far as this mech is concerned as we said the medium missile and large missile slots they allow you to do srm6s in those slots if you choose to but uh, you could also just as well run srm4s or you could go ahead and do something fun like maybe run um streak srms uh, srm2s uh, and medium lasers but the problem is at that point, you have so much tonnage left that you can't really fill with anything good. Um, so you're you're just lowering your firepower, in my opinion, too much. But this would be fun for like a light mech hunter or whatnot. Okay, moving back. I'm not going to talk about the LRM capabilities because they're basically the same as here. Next one and last on the list, we've already talked about that in the Hero Max video. If you're interested in all the Hero Max, the Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries and the DLC, then uh, have a look into my MW5 guides because uh, I made a video on both of those, so all showcasing all the Hero Max and potential builds for them. Frenzy, real quick. On paper, two LRM20 launchers and two SRM4 stream launchers. Looking under the hood, we can see that this thing does not come equipped with any kind of heatsinks. It has two tons of LRM ammo, two tons of SRM ammo, and uh, once again, jump jets galore and not optimized armor. So, we would definitely remove the jump jets as always. And now, have a look at this. We are at full armor, one jump jet, and we have all the weapons and the ammo in there. And you might ask yourself, well, TTB, we tried LRM20s. They just wouldn't fit, they were too heavy. Why do they fit on this model? Well, it's because the Dervish Frenzy either has an Axel engine or endosteel structure. We can't see right now because unfortunately the default screen that PJ gives us is uh, very flawed in this regard, just doesn't show you the info. So for some reason, maybe both of them, we have access to some nicer bit of technology and that allows us to bring more weapons, I have more tonnage for weapons. How would you build this thing? Well, as you can already see, this would be nice for like a long range boat, two LRM20s. I would think about removing maybe the SRM4 streams and change those to SRM2s. Or maybe removing them all together if you are piloting the mech and just running this as a LRM boat. But yeah, on the other side, having some SRM2s or whatnot, it would, it would help you defend against like tanks or something. So it would definitely not be wrong to have that. But uh, just switching to SRM2s, as you can see, we gain a little bit of tonnage. We would only need like one ton of ammo for this thing. We can armor up the arms completely. We weren't at full armor before, so that's why I'm changing this real quick. Um, and that would gain you in the end like one more ton, or almost one more ton, that you can use for another ton of LRM ammo. Because I would say three tons of ammo for LRM20s should be sufficient. So yeah, you could build this build uh, like this, and I think it should be fine. Or of course, if you feel, find that you need more ammo, you can always turn down the 20s to 15s, maybe then go up from SRM2s to SRM4s and see how that works for you. Alright, the build that I'll be running is going to be a Dervish Frenzy, and we're gonna go balls to the walls. Triple SRM6 with Artemis, plus an SRM4 stream launcher. We have got a couple of double heat sinks in the mech, and we've got six tons of SRM Artemis ammo. Cooling heat per second is two. Uh, I think we will still get very hot very, very quickly, but uh, it's going to be fun for you guys to see. I didn't even talk about the uh, the hard points, I think. The Dervish Frenzy has uh, a medium missile slot in the right arm, small missile slot in the left arm, and then two large missile slots in the right torso, and in the left torso, uh, respectively. So that prevents you from running quad SRM6, unfortunately. But, as you can see, we are not uh, in a problem here, we just run triple SRM6 and 
the SRM4 launcher in here, which is actually the wrong one, this is the SRM4 stream launcher. If you're running boats like this, I would not run stream launchers. They might be more accurate, but I prefer the straight in your face damage. Okay. SRM Atomus ammo is in, everything else is in. And of course you can run this with SRM6 just flat and you can add extra double heat sinks if you want. So if you remove the Artemis system, you gain uh, an extra, what is that, an extra 3 tons, an extra 4 tons. And that would allow you to bring more cooling as well, so keep that in mind. Alright, let's jump into the match and see what happens. Alright, so let's go with the arm mounts here. The provisions warehouse. And then maybe chain fire here. Okay, that should work. All right, let's take down these boys. Target See how ADI fares. We're just gonna go ahead and uh, do some firing of our own. Get ready for the Alpha Strike Commando. Whee! Quad SRMs. It hits like a truck. It hits fast, but look at the heat. We're already in max heat. That's what I meant. Look at the heat gauge, guys. Look at the heat gauge. Toasty, toasty, toasty. I have my mods disabled, by the way, so that's the reason why we have the white heat gauge as opposed to the colored heat gauge I normally use. Um, we're cooling, but we're cooling slowly. What is that? About three heat per second that we're losing? Two heat per second? I think it's two heat per second, yeah from the stats. So, you have to pick your fights, you gotta be careful. Positioning on you, and uh, you have to be willing to retreat or stay in cover to cool down a little bit. There are no cool shots in Mech Warrior 5 mercenaries, after all. Uh, hello? Enemies? Enemies! Enemies! The nice thing about the SRMs is they hit like a truck, so they're also really good to deal with like tanks and whatnot. Okay, somebody destroyed a tank. The AI seems to be a lot better in shooting tanks than it is in shooting enemy mechs. I wonder if you guys have made the same uh, observation. Recon reports additional forces entering the engagement area, Commander. Be on the lookout for them. Oh, I don't see anybody right now, so... Oh. More tanks. Partisan, SM carrier, Manticore. Okay, so a couple of tanks coming in that actually have some firepower. So we'll deal with them. The Dervish looks nice though. And I think like one jump jet is, is more than enough to get this thing mobile and running. I don't really think you need a second or third jump jet. Yeah, the AI also do, does better in flat and open terrain here, right? SM carrier one shot. The Manticore probably needs two. Yeah, would have needed two. I actually got killed by uh, LRMs, believe it or not. There's in Penicate. Can we hit this guy from here? At 500 meters? <laughs> so, little tip about the SRMs. They will, they will lose their uh, power and drop, but as they're dropping, as long as they're still glowing. Now they're dropping, they're glowing, and now they're burning out. As long as they're still orange glowing, they still do damage. So you can hit targets at about 500 meters with SRMs. You just have to aim above them, so the SRMs fly, and then they lose their propulsion, and then they drop on them. Doesn't work like that in MechWarrior Online. Keep that in mind. It only works like that in MechWarrior 5. Little tricks. Tips and tricks. From the mind that brought you the Dagalader 5000. Um, also, we're still missing some... There should be a partisan here somewhere. Did the AI poop out or getting something? Hmm. I have no idea what's going on. It's a small map though. Yeah, it's a small map. Okay. So we got... Oh, there's the partisan. 800 meters, I can't hit that. Like, even if I try to... Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, let's see. This is, this is at, what is that? At 600 meters? Can we destroy this? Okay, so these were red, but they still did damage, apparently. Oh! Nope, never mind. See? They actually do damage the full way. Maybe they do reduce damage, but they do damage the full way through. If you can hit it, it gets destroyed. Let's see if we can hit these by any chance. That would be ridiculous if I could, but... 
Almost. I'm shooting big volleys of missiles here. I'm trying to hit these guys. Oh, now, okay, now they're almost in range, so this will hit, probably. Yep. But yeah, of course flyers are going to be a problem with SRMs. But you can still with, deal with them as you just saw. Oh, a trench bucket. Okay, this guy is more than dead. As soon as I'm in range. By the way, the AI is just slowly trying to follow me. Artemis is beautiful. That's one salvo. And bye. You see how quickly he popped? I mean, yeah, there was a and 20 on top of that, but still. This thing hits like a truck. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Let's go for the rifleman. And there come the LRMs. Yes. Oh, he's getting rained on. He's getting rained on. He doesn't know about my special move. Firing between buildings. Well, one of them got killed, but whatever. Bye-bye. This guy's a pristine thunderbolt. This one is a good test now. One. Two. Ah, I missed a little bit. So, we just destroyed a thunderbolt in less than 10 seconds with this build. That gives you an idea how powerful this build is. And how powerful SRMs are in general. It's a heavy mech killed in 10 seconds. It's not a thunderbolt coming in. But as you can see, you have to get fairly close. Otherwise, it's kind of hard to hit sometimes. He's dead. Really All right. More Couple more targets around. remaining. But it's just a medium mech, so we already took quite a bit of damage here. Welcome Gonna set the AI forward a little bit. Um, if you get your hands on the Archer Hero mech, the Agincourt, yeah. That thing is going to murder stuff, because you can run SRM6, SRM4 combos, big SRM6, SRM4 combos. I'm gonna go for the Zeus. I'm gonna go straight for the Zeus. Is he gonna ignore me? Please ignore me. Yeah, he's ignoring me. Are you ignoring me as well? Okay, please ignore me. I need to brawl an Assault mech. This is gonna be Dervish versus Assault. Let's see how long it takes. Somebody take the time. Counting... now! Ten seconds for Zeus. Ten freaking seconds. Three volleys, close range. Do you believe me now? The power of the SRM. You think it's auto cannon twenties and whatnot? No, 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 no. It's SRM six, boys. That is the most powerful DPS weapon in this game right now. I think. <laughs> Boom. So yeah. The dervish is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. It fights like a dervish. Oh, commando. Commando. This commando clearly has never seen my fat mando. Which is a dragon going at commando speeds. Bye bye. It's even stack polling. Press F to pay respects. So guys. I would be curious to think what you, what your opinion is on the dervish in general. What you think of my variants for building it, and are you gonna get the dervish frenzy now that you're seeing it, bro? <laughs> 1123 damage done, nine enemy mechs destroyed, a Zeus killed in under 10 seconds. Three volleys was all it took. G freaking G, and guys, hey. If you enjoyed this content, hit the thumbs up to let YouTube know that it should show this video to more people so they can also get the best out of their dervishes and their dervish builds. And if you want to support me, check out the various options available in the video description below because I'm doing this full time. Thank you for that. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you next time.